Welcome, thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between a population and a sample. So here we have a population. A lot of times people think of the population of the United States as being a population, which is true, it is a population. But one of the things I like to emphasize, it's any group where you have the whole group or the entire group or all of the group. So here, the population could be the United States because that's the whole group that I'm interested in. But you could have a population that might be, let's say, the world. And then everybody, the entire world, would be the population. Or you could have the state of Michigan. And if you're only interested in the state of Michigan, all of Michigan residents or the whole state of Michigan or the entire state of Michigan would be how we describe that population. So a population doesn't have to have one set word or term in terms of it being the United States or being the entire world. It's just any time that you're interested in a group, if you have the whole group or the entire group or all individuals in the group, that's going to be described as a population. So then if you are able to get that entire population, so here if we're talking about the United States as being our all the people that we're interested in or the whole group that we're interested in, if you are able to get all of those people or that entire group or that whole population, you would take what's called a census. So a census by definition has to be the whole group or all individuals or the entire population. You can't leave anybody out. So a census by its very definition means that it has to include every single individual in the population. Now, most of the time, we're not able to do that, right? Because if you talk about even the US census, they don't always get all of the people for various reasons. It's really expensive, it's nearly impossible. People are born and they die. You have some people who are experiencing homelessness and you can't get information from them. So even the US census, though they call it that, it's not truly a census because they haven't gotten the all, whole, or entire. Now, part of the reason that the U.S. Census only happens every 10 years is because it's so expensive to do. And so as statisticians, we think that there's a possibility that you can take a smaller group of individuals to be able to talk about a larger group of individuals. It saves you time and it saves you money and it still is informative. So that process of taking a population and getting a smaller group or a subset would be called sampling. And the result of that is a sample. So you take a large group or that whole and entire group and then you subset it so you get a smaller group or part of it and that would be called a sample. So in the context of the United States, maybe you just take the state of Michigan and that's gonna be a sample because it's part of the United States. So a sample is different than a population, right? The population is all whole or entire, but the sample is going to be part or sum or a subset or a number that's quite obviously smaller than the population. So population is everybody, a sample is part of that bigger group. So when we have a number that's referring to the population, we would call that a parameter. So anytime a number refers to the population, it's a parameter. And you can remember that because the P's go together. If you have a sample, a number referring to a sample is called a statistic. And you can remember that because the S's go together. So remember in the process, we take a population and then through some sampling method, we get to a smaller group, which is called a sample. Now, you want your sample to be representative of the population. So talking about the United States and taking just the state of Michigan, that probably won't be very representative because you wanna make sure you have a good cross section of the whole United States. Nevertheless, there are sampling methods that result in a sample that aren't representative, but the goal is for them to be representative. So here we've talked about populations, that's that all, whole, or entire. We can take a sample using some sampling method, and a sample is going to be that subset or that smaller group. When you have a number that's referring to a population, we refer to that as a parameter. Remember the P's go together. And then we have a sample and a number referring to that as a statistic, and remember then the S's go together. So that's populations versus sample, whole, all, entire versus part, all or every versus some. And so in the next videos, we'll talk about more basic terms in terms of statistics.